call to order the City of Douglasville's uh, City Council special meeting for today, which is January the 9th, 2020. Wow, a new decade. And um, our invocation will be done by Pastor E. John Citizen of the Spirit Life Church of God. And after that, City Councilwoman Dr. LaShawn Bird Danley will lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the invocation. Thank you, Madam Mayor, this hollow chamber. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come in the name of Jesus. God, all that is standing here, the saved and the unsaved, the believer and the unbeliever. God, our community is made up of all your people. And today, God, as we gather this hollow chamber, God, bless it, anoint it, allow city business to go forth with your power attached to it. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Under other business, we'll have uh, the administered, the o of office to myself and to the council members and to the um, honorable individuals that have been asked to lead us in the oath, I ask that after one person, after myself, after I sit down, then the other council person comes up, and I will, uh, the order will be Council Member Mark Adams, Ward 2, Post 2, and then will be Council Member Chris Watts, Ward 4, and um, newly elected Council Member Mr. Howard Estes, which is in Ward 5. And after that, um, he will be sworn in by Councilman Terry Miller. And after that, we'll do nominations and announcements. But at this point, we have um, my pastor. We have here the Honorable Judge Cynthia Adams. But we all know things happen in life. And so she is a Superior Court judge, and she's still in court. Court has run over. And so we have a ram in the bush, but he is not the sacrifice. He's a, the sacrifice has already been done. So we'll ask my pastor, um, Dr. John Bailey, pastor of Gospel Nation of Powder Springs, if you would please come up now and do the oath of office, and my family as well. Thank you, Pastor John. Good evening, everyone. What an honor it is to be here and to witness history and to witness this wonderful family that I've known for over 25 years. Madam Mayor, would you please raise your right hand and place your hand on the Bible? Would you repeat after me? I, I Rochelle Robinson, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully perform that I will faithfully perform the duties of mayor, the duties of mayor of the city of Douglasville, of the city of Douglasville, and that I will support, and that I will support and defend, and defend the laws of this city, the laws of this city, and the charter thereof, and the charter thereof, as well as the constitution and laws, as well as the constitution and laws of the state of Georgia, of the state of Georgia, and of the United States of America. And of the United States of America. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. My honor. Thank you, God. <laughs> now the next swearing in will be Council Member. Mark Adams, and he will be sworn in by the Honorable Municipal Judge, Judge Keith Rollins. Please welcome them as they come. Councilman Adams, you would place your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand. I, state your name. I, Mark Adams, do solemnly swear. 
do solemnly swear that I will faithfully perform that I will faithfully perform the duties of council member the duties of council member of the city of Douglasville of the city of Douglasville and that I will support and defend and that I will support and defend the laws of this city the laws of this city and the charter thereof and the charter thereof as well as the constitution and laws as well as the Constitution and laws of the state of Georgia, of the state of Georgia, and the United States of America, and the United States of America. So help you God. So help me God. Thank you so much. And now we'll move on. Um, to council member Chris Watts, and he will be sworn in by his pastor, Pastor Steve McFall of Central Baptist Church. Good to see you, Pastor McFall. You're welcome. Well, as Chris comes, uh, I know it's not time for a sermon, uh, <laughs> but for the, for the last two years, Chris has served our largest uh, body of leadership, our deacons. And so uh, there's 35 deacons that Chris leads as their chairman. And so he does that along with what he does in the city. We're, we're grateful, Chris, for your leadership, not only in the city of Douglasville, but in our church at Central Baptist Church. Chris, as you place your Bible and raise your right hand, would you repeat after me? I state your name. I, Chris Watts. Do solemnly affirm. Do solid, solemnly affirm. That I will faithfully perform. That I will faithfully perform. The duties of council member the duties of council member of the city of Douglasville of the city of Douglasville and that I will support and defend I will support and defend the laws of the city the laws of the city and the charter thereof and the charter thereof as well as the constitution and laws as well as the constitution and laws of the state of Georgia of the state of Georgia and the United States of America and the United States of America so help me God so help me God And last, but not certainly least, we'll have the swearing in. I do feel like church now. We're standing up and sitting down. It's real good. But our, we'll have the um, administer of the oath of office to the newly elected council member, Mr. Howard Estes. And he is a rep representing Ward 5, and he'll be sworn in by council member Terry Miller. Welcome. Good to see you. No speeches here, too, other than just to say it's an absolute honor. And it's a rarity that someone actually gets to administer an oath to one of your closest friends. And this is my dearest honor. Raise your right hand, left hand with the part. Repeat after me. I. I, Howard Estes. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully perform. That I will faithfully perform. The duties of council member. The duties of council member. Of the city of Douglasville. Of the city of Douglasville. And that I will support and defend. And that I will support and defend. The laws of the city. The laws of the city. And the charter thereof. And the charter thereof. As well as the constitution and laws. As well as the constitution and laws. Of the, of the state of Georgia. Of the state of Georgia. And of the United States of America. And of the United States of America. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Ms. Council. Mm -hmm. So the council members will come back around and we'll have seats at our days and continue on with nominations of uh, committees and, and Mayor Pro Tem. This is very exciting. I know it will not be exciting to everyone in the audience, but to the council members. Uh, the mayor has the privilege of choosing committee chairs, and so it's a secret until today. 
So they're probably looking at their assignments. And um, I really appreciate um, everyone serving. But before we do that, we'll have nominations and election of the Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Douglas for 2020. And so I open the floor for nominations for Mayor Pro Tem. Are there any nominations? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Yes, I would like to nominate Coach Chris Watts as Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you. Have the nomination of Mr. Chris Watts. And Madam Mayor, I would like to nominate Councilman Terry Miller. Okay, thank you so much. We have Councilmember Terry Miller. So we will do the uh, voting by hand. Is that correct, City Manager? You can close the nominations. Oh, I apologize. Prefer. Are there any more nominations? Any more nominations from the floor from Mayor Pro Tem from Council Members? Okay, not seeing any. Um, then I'll close nominations at this time. And we'll um, open the floor for votes. And I can't vote, I can't even vote in a tie. So uh, we'll have uh, all of those that are in favor of Chris Watts to be Mayor Pro Tem, please raise your hand. Thank you, three. And uh, those in favor of Mr. Terry Miller being Mayor Pro Tem, please raise your hands. Okay, that's four. So the new Mayor Pro Tem is Council Member Terry Miller. Let's give him a hand. Mr. Estes, I apologize for doing this. It's going to seem rude, no. but I'm kicking you out to the <laughs> no. I need the mayor pro tem to come I'm and sit to, to my room, that. just in case the Lord calls me home or something. It won't be right now, but um, <laughs> mayor pro tem, I know it. It's Council Member uh, Terry Miller. We're excited to see the great things that are going to happen. Welcome, congratulations. Thank you. So now we will go over committees and I will um, do the committee. We have changed some of the committees around and we have different responsibilities. So I'll name the committee and tell you who the chair and vice chair chairs are for those committees and then just some of the responsibilities. Or I do it in, in reverse. Economic Development Authority, the Economic Development Committee is responsible for recommending policies to build and maintain a successful business climate and workforce talent, including the number of jobs with sustainability, wages, benefits, economic opportunities for all of its residents and encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, and these topics that are discussed under this committee, Chamber of Commerce, the City of Douglasville Development Authority, Douglas County Development Authority, Downtown Development Authority, Georgia Department of Economic Development, Main Street, Urban Redeve Redevelopment Agency, and various economic development activities. And so the chair for economic development is, the chair is Council Member Terry Miller, Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Terry Miller, and Council Member, the Vice Chair is Nicole Miller. Finance. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee is responsible for recommending policies on matters pertaining to the budget, administration of tax ordinances, property acquisitions and dispositions, capital improvement projects, purchasing policies, liability insurance, and other financial matters, and which include billing, bond funding, capital planning and budgeting, city county tax um, agreements, contractual change orders, federal, state, and local grant funding, and financial audits. The finance chair will be Council Member Mark Adams, and the vice chair is Council Member Chris Watts. Housing and Community Affairs. Housing and Community Affairs is the Housing um, Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations pertaining to quality of life initiatives such as housing, homelessness, code enforcement, and some of the responsibilities are Board of Health, the Community Services Board, Code Enforcement, Community Development Block Grants, Community Housing Investment Programs, Georgia Department of Community Affairs, Habitat for Humanities, Homelessness and Housing Authority. And the chair for that committee is Dr. LaShawn Burdanley, um, Council Member, and Council Member Vice Chair is Council Member Mark Adams. So we'll move on to legislative and intergovernmental. And that is uh, the Legislative Intergovernmental Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations on matters pertaining to critical intergovernmental topics at the local, state, and federal level, and our particular concerns with matters that affect local ordinances, the city charter, and laws governing the city's elected officials. Um, Atlanta Regional Commission is under Legislative Intergovernmental Committee, Douglas County Government, Douglasville, Douglas County Water and Sewer Authority, uh, General 
Georgia Municipal Association, Mayor and City Council special meetings, the city charter, and training activities for elected officials. And so the legislative intergovernmental uh, chair will be Council Member Samuel Davis, and uh, vice chair is Council Member Dr. LaShawn Burdanley. We'll move on to personnel and organization committee. You know what, I missed some things for finance. Councilman Adams, let me meet. I didn't see all these. Madam, you added some more stuff, city manager. Okay, let me finish, because this is a big job. Okay, so financial management practices, general liability insurance, impact fees, investments, lease purchases, local option sales tax. That's what you need to talk to, Madam Chair, when you local option sales tax. Other um, employment benefits, payroll, procurement, property acquisition, purchasing policy, service delivery agreements, special purpose lo local option sales tax, SPLOST, special revenue funds with hotel motel, enterprise funds, special tax districts, tax allocation districts, and taxation. That's why I miss it, it's a whole page. So those are all the things you have, finance chair, but you have a degree in finance, so it'll be fine. Okay, well keep on moving. I did personal organization committee. Personal Organization Committee, the Personnel Organization Committee is responsible for recommending policies that address personnel policy and procedures, compensation, benefits, employee relations, staffing, and organizational structures of the city, employee benefits, employee classifications, employee compensation, employee position control, um, ethics board, health and wellness, pension committee, personnel policy and procedure manuals, and workmen's comp. And so the chair for that committee is Councilmember Chris Watts. Vice chair is Councilmember Nicole Miller. Planning and Development Board of Adjustments and Appeals, that has been a combined committee now. The Planning and Development Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations that address city planning, land use, zoning, historic preservation, the building inspections process, permitting process, and smart growth initiatives. Uh, the responsibilities under that committee's annexation, Board of Adjustments and Appeals, Building Officials, Division, Compensation Planning, Future Land Use Planning, GIS, um, Geographical Information Systems, Growth Management, Planning Commission, Unified Development Code, and Zoning Administration. The chair is Councilmember Mark Adams, Vice Chair is Councilmember LaShawn, Dr. LaShawn Burdanley. We're almost finished. Public Improvement and Beautification. Uh, the Public Improvement and Beautification Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations that address sanitation, public facility maintenance, fleet, heavy equipment, recycling, and, ma and maintenance and operations of the city's properties, including the cemetery. Um, responsibilities under this committee is city buildings and land, city cemetery, commercial and residential sanitation, heavy equipment including but not limited to tractors, side cutters, skid streets, etc. Keep Douglasville Beautiful Recycling and Tree Advisory Board. And the chair for that committee is Councilmember Nicole Miller and vice chair is Councilmember Mark Adams. Public Relations Committee. The Public Relations Committee is responsible for recommending policies that encourages communications and participation between uh, residents and the city government. The committee encourages coordination of city events and encourages transparency within our city government. Responsibilities under this committee is branding and marketing, government access channel, imaging, logos, press release and announcements, social media, and website. And that committee is uh, chaired by Councilmember Howard Estes and Vice Chair is Councilmember Samuel Davis. We have three more to go. Public safety. Public safety, the Public Safety Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations that address police, fire, emergency management, municipal courts, alcohol license and licenses or permits issued under, under the police powers. Chair for that committee is um, some of the responsibilities, alcohol licenses, animal control, animal advisory board, emergency management, fire safety, municipal courts, street closing, and traffic control. The chair is Councilmember Samuel Davis. Vice chair is Councilmember Chris Watts. Recreation, Culture, and Tourism Committee. We've combined some of those responsibilities this year. The Recreation, uh, Culture, and Tourism Committee is responsible for recommending policies to promote, support, and celebrate the arts, history, culture, and the preservation, preservation of active lifestyle that exists within our community. And this is our upcoming uh, great excitement that we have. And so this committee will handle the amphitheater, the uh, Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville, Douglas County, Community Theater, Convention and Conference Center Authority, Convention and Visitors Bureau, parades and special events, 
Park Advisory Board, Parks and Recreation Facilities, Public Art, and the Trail System. And that is chaired by Councilmember Chris Watts. The Vice Chair is Councilmember Samuel Davis. Technology. The Technology Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations on matters pertaining to technology-related issues. These issues could include telecommunications, radio communications, cyber, cyber security, and service systems. Um, responsibilities under this committee, the alarm systems, audiovisual audio visual equipment, cybersecurity, emergency warning systems, global positioning systems, technology, GPS. I don't know what that stood for that. Information systems, equipment, mobile devices, radio systems, robotics and robotic technology, scanner technology and service uh, systems, and unmanned aircraft technology, drones. And so that is chaired by Mayor Pro Tem, Terry Miller, and Vice Chair Howard Estes. The last committee, Transportation Committee. The Transportation Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations on matters pertaining to transportation and transportation infrastructure. Uh, responsibilities, Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee, federal, state, regional and local transportation agencies, sidewalk planning, maintenance and construction, street maintenance and construction, traffic management and planning, and transportation planning and construction. The chair will remain the same, which is uh, Council Member Dr. LaShawn Burdanley. Vice Chair is Council Member Terry Miller. Those are the committee assignments for 2020. And do we have any questions from council members about your committees? You're welcome. If you have a burning um, you just, I'm, I'm not looking in that direction, someone's looking at me. If you just do not want to chair one of the committees that I've told you or vice chair, please let me know and we can uh, work. We don't want you to be unhappy with your committee assignments. But I do trust and believe that you are more than able and capable to handle all these committees and their responsibilities. So those are uh, the committee assignments and on the agenda. If there is any other business to come before council from council members tonight, Madam City Manager. No, ma'am, I'd just like to state on behalf of myself and the city staff, congratulations to those who have just been sworn in. And thank you for those who are continuing on. We look forward to serving with you as we serve the citizens of Douglasville. Thank you so much, city manager. Well, we, are, we appreciate all of the citizens coming out, our family, um, pastors, elected officials, appointed officials. And so we do have a few minutes. Our city council member uh, meeting starts at 6 o'clock. So at this time, I would ask that all the elected officials please stand so that we, you can be recognized. Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. Oh, it's Representative Bodie. Hey. Oh, and Commissioner Terenia Carthen. Would you all have any words? Do you want to say anything? Please. Come on up, Dr. Doctor. <laughs> Come on up, Madam Chair. Chair of the Board of Commissioners, Dr. Mona Jackson-Jones, let's receive her, please. Good evening, Good evening. To, the, to the mayor and also to our elected officials and the city council, first and foremost, and also to our city manager and to all the appointed uh, officials here tonight. Just wanted to extend greetings from the Board of Commissioners on behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. We want to extend congratulations to you for this moment. We look forward to, to continuing to, to having our wonderful working relationship that we've, we've developed in the last three years, so I'm so excited about it. And Mayor, congratulations. Thank and you. of course, Mr. Estes, thank you so much and welcome aboard. <laughs> and then also, I'm trying to make sure and uh, Mark Adams, congratulations, Councilman Adams, and congratulations, Coach. I, I, when I first met Coach, I said, you're a winner. So it, it shows that you are a winner, Coach. <laughs> it's it's proven. Right. Again, congratulations to this entire body. And uh, again, I look forward to working with you all. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. jackson Jones. <laughs> Representative Bodie. Good to see you, Representative Bode. We appreciate you doing the work that you do under the Gold Dome for us. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I appreciate that. Um, I'm here, uh, Representative William Bode, Representative House District 62. I'm also the House Minority, House Democratic Whip. Uh, so it's absolute pleasure uh, to be able to be here tonight and to be able to say congratulations uh, to Coach, uh, to Mark, and to you, Madam Mayor, and to Councilmember Estes, who's I represent. Uh, uh, 
you and District 5. So thank you. And we look forward to a partnership and working together. And all my old friends up here, it's just really a pleasure. Sam, <laughs> LaShawn, and, and Mark, it's just really great. And you as well, Madam, I, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, and it's just a pleasure to be able to work with the city of Douglasville and with the uh, Douglas County Board of Commissions. The uh, Douglas County delegation works very hard. Uh, and we work together and we know we have legislative items every session and we have your legislative uh, wish list as well as the county and we're going to work very hard to get those things done in a very quick uh, and efficient legislative session in 2020 so madam mayor always i think you're doing a tremendous job Thank with you. your leadership uh, and I really appreciate you as a friend and as a leader. So thank you all. And I am sending greetings on behalf of the Georgia, uh, the Georgia General Assembly tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Cody. <laughs> and as um, Commissioner Carthen comes, I wanted to thank publicly thank Representative Bodie for helping the city of Douglasville to have our tax allocation district um, brought into flourishing. It was a reality, and we appreciate the relationship and uh, camaraderie that we're able to have with the Board of Commissioners and the Board of Education, but it would not have happened if our legislative body didn't help us. So thank you for what you've done to help us to uh, spur economic development and success and growth in the city of Douglasville. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Commissioner Carthen. Yes. Commissioner Terenia Carthen, District 3 Commissioner here in Douglas County. I would just like to say, first of all, congratulations to my councilman over my district, Coach. Congratulations. I'm glad to see that you're back in office. And to all of you, especially you, Madam Chair, you have really put Douglasville on the map. I tell you, when I go places, people say, oh, I know your mayor. And it's great <laughs> to say, so do I. You know, So um, I really appreciate what you've done Thank to you. lift the city of Douglasville up. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Continue to do the successful things that you do to make our county the great county. You are the city seat. And we want you to do well. So anything we can do on behalf of the Board of Commissioners to help that endeavor we're here congratulations thank you thank you so well we won't have any other speeches but I do want to recognize our judges that are here I believe judge Adams just came in if you just wave your hand judge it's, it's okay I know you had look no you're a superior court judge we understand you may have the They're saying, come to the microphone. She had the robe in hand and everything. <laughs> it's okay. It's terrible. Um, I won't get into all of the specifics, but today just ended up being the craziest day that I have ever had um, in court, it felt like. And I wanted to just apologize to you publicly because when you called me and asked that to swear you in, I was just so looking forward to it and just Fine. had it on my calendar. And I apologize to all of you guys. You see me with everything in hand. <laughs> I was okay. rushing over here. And um, I just have uh, such a burden on my heart when people come into the court, um, into the courthouse and into my courtroom and not having them um, waste time and so I just wanted to clear everybody out and it just took much longer because of just some just some glitches that we had today no but problem. I wanted to apologize and I wanted to congratulate you thank you um, and just thank you for asking me to participate yes and um, I congratulate all of the uh, the new um, members as well but thank you for allowing me to speak as well sorry guys You're, this is no problem <laughs> thanks judge I'll see you at Rotary it's fine <laughs> So please have our judges stand to be recognized, our municipal court judge, Judge Keith Rollins. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll ask all the clergy to please stand so that you can be recognized. Oh, that's my judge. Oh, that's a new judge. Hey, new judge. Natalia. Hi, Sora. That's our new juvenile court judge. Stand up so they can see you one more time. Associate juvenile court judge. Thank you so much. And all the clergy, please stand so that we can recognize you at this time. Pastors, clergy, thank you so much for coming. All right now. Thank you so much. And appointed officials, any appointed officials, especially from, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good to see you. All right. We appreciate that. Now it's about 530. Our meeting starts at 6. Do we have more food? 
We need to feed them if we want them to stay. Yes, ma'am, the food's here till six. Okay, there's more food in the reception area, so please, um, <laughs> we'll ask that you would go to the reception area. I'm gonna take just a little personal privilege, and I hope you all don't get upset with me, but I'll ask my sorority sisters to please stand because they're always here to support me. If you see these beautiful ladies with pink and green and black, Thank you so much. Thank you, Sigma Omega Omega. So it isn't just me. When you see I'm kind of small, but you know, I have some backup just in case. <laughs> but no, just, I'm just kidding, Chief. It's a, I'm not, it's not Deputy Chief. But so if we don't have any other business, then um, after we adjourn, we'll ask that you would go and have some refreshments and you're welcome to stay uh, to, with the six o'clock meeting. But if not, we understand that you were just here for the swearing in. So thank you so much, everyone in the community for your time. We really appreciate it. Atlanta Preservation Commission, please stand, Mr. David Mitchell. We appreciate you coming in from the big A. <laughs> to be with us this evening. <laughs> Thank you so much. So if that's not all, not having any other business in this meeting is adjourned.